In today's video, we're going to show you how to pick a lock with the fly. Kind of a fun video today. Uh, really not something you'll probably ever need, but eh, it's kind of fun, so I thought I'd do a video on it. First thing we're going to do is just kind of show you how the lock works. We have this clear lock here, so you can kind of see what's going on on the inside. What we have are pins on springs. And there's essentially two sets of pins. Um, one set of pins sits down into the barrel. The other set of pins, which you can see here on top, sit on top of those. And the idea here is, is to get those that first set of pins all barely out of the barrel so that they're nice and even and flush, and that will allow this barrel to turn. So I'll just take a key and stick it in here and I'll kind of show you. You'll see all those pins lift. You see how they all become even? And what that allows you to do is then turn the barrel. Now there's still pins inside the barrel. You can see the tops of them there. Uh, and those are the pins that you don't want to want to pull out too much or else the barrel won't turn. So then when I take out the key, you'll see all those pins drop back down. Now I'll show you kind of what you normally would use to pick a lock. That's just a little pick and what you can do is get in there and you basically can lift. You can see I'm lifting those pins. And then you also need a lever. That's this little guy here. And the idea is you put slight pressure on the barrel and that will allow you to lift the pins and let them sit just ever so slightly on the barrel. So you kind of have to put a little bit of pressure on that lever to get that barrel to sit so that the pins just barely sit right on top of it. And you simply just work those pins around until you get them all nice and even. Let's start over here. And I'm by no means a professional at this, but I can usually pick the lock reasonably quick. There we go. And you pick the lock. So what you'll feel here as you twist that barrel, you'll feel slight release of resistance. So as those little pins sit on top of the barrel, you'll feel that this lever just kind of let up on a little bit of resistance. And that is kind of at the point where you know you're getting those pins to sit on top of that barrel. So what I have here is just an old crease fly. You want to use a fly that, of course, has a long enough hook to get down in and reach all those pins. Smaller the lock, smaller the fly you can use. This is, I would say, a fairly normal size lock. You do have to use a larger fly for this, some type of streamer. Uh, midge would not be a good choice. You won't be able to pick a lock with a midge. It needs to be able to reach all the way down in that barrel. So what you need to do is you need to make a lever, which I've done here. I kind of twisted the hook to the side, and basically you're trying to replicate this. And you'll need to make your little pick, which I just straightened out a hook. And essentially that is this. So let's go ahead and give it a shot here. So what you want to do is stick the first lever fly in there and you need to get it to kind of grip the barrel which this one I can just barely get it to grip let me see if I can get it to there we go this is honestly the hardest part to make is the portion to grip the barrel there we go so I've got it to grip. Now I'm going to get in here and I'm going to finesse these pins. Almost got the back one is always the hardest with a hook because you got to really get back. There we go. There we go. And it can be done. It's not easy to do, it takes a little bit of practice, 
but that is how you pick a lock with the fly. You never know when you're going to be locked out of your Titan rod vault or stuck in a Mexican jail somewhere bone fishing down in Mexico. <laughs>